and steal that game away from the Tigers. Kina nga, tsaka sinasabi nga ni, uh, ni Sir Waki Trillo, no attitude problem. Parang siya, kasi eh, forever smiling yan eh, yeah. si uh, Sir Waki Trillo. And uh, of course, siyempre, uh, he knows what he's talking about. He's been in basketball for so long already. And uh, alam niya that uh, this goal for the Tigers can't come back. So, alam mo, it would be a mental game here in the first half. They have to be tough. Alaska should not be complacent, and the Nogola Tigers should really think that they can still come back. So, Jeffrey Carriasso open up the scoring. Dito ang ating uh, third quarter. The Wings started it back in the uh, first period. So, it's now 49-25 here. John Arrigo made mention there was no fire. Oh. There was no intensity on the part of the Tigers. They're just letting the Alaska Aces do their thing. Uh, they've been missing a lot of shots. The two legend layup there on Miraculous Rivas. And since so I began in the first half, Alaska's been hitting everything. And that's the way they're starting the second half. Nine points in the ball game right now. Para rito kay Nick Velasco to make this 51 25 right now. Hindi pa gumagala ang score. Para sa Boca Cola Tigers. Nagminti si Will Antonio. Bola na naman ang Alaska Aces. So for Alaska, they want to start strong again here in the third quarter to really take the fight away from the Boca Cola Tigers. Crucial for them. Itong, uh, well, for both squads, crucial to first few minutes of uh, this uh, third period to very, very well decide you know, kung, uh, yung outcome nitong ball game. Natawag ng offensive foul itong si Willie Miller. Natawag na kalang na natin eh, mapapatrobol itong uh, panik ng Alaska Aces dahil three personal fouls kagad kay Sanitos in the first period of action pa naman. Pero nagtiba ang uh, tingla ng ball game. Tama yan. Kasi nga, lahat talos ng hinugot nito si Coach Nick ko na Maliban lang dito kay Tony De La Cruz. Ito ka score for the Alaska Aces. Everybody's really been playing well. Ali Big just scored his first basket of the game, mga kaibigan. It's one guy that gusto kontrolin ang Alaska Aces. They have done that in the first half. Makikita natin, hindi ba, para rito sa panic ng Aces. As we take a look at Nick Velasco, Miller has already scored. Nick Velasco will once again score. Dito sa ating third period, making a 53-27 game. That time, walang kamarang kay Nick Velasco. He had all the lane to himself. That's why he got an easy layup. Will Antonio, that's only a long two para kay Will Antonio. 53-29. Dito na sa third quarter na tayo. Isang panalo na naman kinakailangan. Dito panig ng Alaska Aces. It's an offensive foul on Nick Velasco. So we're setting an illegal screen. So, itong Coca Cola Tigers should really get some stops. At now, naka stop na nga sila. They should take advantage of it. Getting some points on the board. Then, Miranda is setting up the play here. Going to John Arrigo. The guy in double figures. Para sa panic ng Coca Cola Tigers. Ah, ah, tapaso para kay John Arrigo. Talaga si John Arrigo tried to carry this team on his shoulders. Time, some pressure in the backcourt. Nice with the ball. Miller quickly to Sonny Toss who wanted to dunk over Ali Peak. Yeah, but uh, kahit nga ang foul dyan si Ali Peak, I like what he did. He did not allow a dunk shot that would uh, boost by lalo yung confidence in the Alaska Aces. No? He has, he Sonny Toss has to earn his points from the stripe. Sonny Toss, first quarter pa laman. Tatlong personal fouls na. The rest of his teammates, the bench scoring kanina, we had a chance to uh, take a look at it. Ang daming puntos, ang daming nang i-contribute. And Bong Hawkins has played in this game. That's right. Well, kailangan rin kasi yung stability na binibigay ni Bong Hawkins on this Alaska Aces squad para hindi maging complacent yung mga young players of the Aces. Jen of Miranda, now Sandwich going to Rocky Rivas. Pagangat, nabitiwan pa yung bola. Ali Peek recovers, going to Den of Miranda. Shot clock still winding down here. Five seconds na naman. Arrigo has it. Has to put it up. And it's short. Rocky Rivas. Pero bola, nakuha pa ni Willie Miller. Two on two situation here. Miller stops. Pops. And it did not go in para kay Willie Miller. Well, Antonio, bitaw na naman from the outside. Wala. Pick the ball and Willie Miller has it and let's slow it down. Sabi ni Willie Miller. Tamayan, because we have a huge lead here. Ay naman nilang uh, madaliin itong uh, offensive play nila. 
the press club man in Alaska Aces. Tony De La Cruz, voila! And Rafi Rivas comes down with the rebound. 54-31 game here for the Aces. Ali P. Miranda Labaki Miller. Miranda, the drive. Voila! Ang kapit ng bola mapupunta kay Tony De La Cruz! Tony De La Cruz! A single home for a basket for his first two. But still, Alaska wreaking havoc here in the third quarter. Don't let up the way they have started this ball game. 56-31 right now. Everything falling para sa Alaska Aces. Opposite naman ang nangyayari para sa panic ng Coca-Cola Tigers. And everybody's getting involved. So scoring. We'll be right back. Action resumes. It was a big dome. Game number four in the quarterfinal series between the Alaska Aces and the Coca-Cola Tigers. And uh, new games one, two, and three on the Blanche. Every time a team would win, of course, twice done by Alaska Aces. But uh, this time, trying to make it a convincing one, but although nasa third quarter palamang tayo. Rafi Rivas just made a basket for the Panic of Coca-Cola Tigers to make this 58-33 with over seven minutes in the third period. Ito, nakita natin may full court press dito ang Coca-Cola Tigers but Alaska Ace is doing a good job of breaking that press. And Nick Velasco right plays at the right time to see a bit of a great pass and he scores again. Head of Miranda, can't penetrate. Malaki ng si Nick Velasco. Miranda left open. Ayaw na, open look. Di pumapasok. Well, that's as, as, as open a look as you can get in a ball game. Uh, yung nga lang, sabi, di pa nga pumapasok yung mga tira dito ng Coco Hola Tigers. Narias hooks a pass inside. Papunta kay Sanitos and Sanitos making mid-speed of the defense of Ali Peak. He's got five points in the game right now. And right now, Alaska Aces are just doing whatever they want on the floor. They're just taking everything from the tempo, the defensive uh, side, side of this ball game. They're disrupting the offensive flow of the Tigers. John Arico from the baseline. And with this, and look at Tony De La Cruz. Tony De La Cruz only has two points. Blocking foul by the Tawag Laban to Deno Miranda. Miranda, that's his first in the second Laban to Coca-Cola Tigers. Quality player of the game, Tom Pipes, putting quality first. In the meantime, Barrientos picks himself up. Lungan din siya rito at... Jeffrey Carriasso will be called for the pushing foul. Of course, I'm trying to prevent that fast break from happening. No, no malice on the part of uh, Jeffrey Carriasso. He used to be teammates for one yes, thing. Yes, that's right. Teammates in Alaska and in Coca-Cola. Scoring leaders natin, Arigo and Rivas, para sa panic ng Coca-Cola Tigers. Antonio Mamaril, look at that. Arigo's the only player in double figures. Tsaka layo ng diferensya na sumunod. So parang it's only John Rico who showed up here to play. Yung nga isipin mo eh, they might have spent up all their energy in game number three. Because uh, that was a big ball game for them to try and stay alive in this series. So baka isipin mo, baka doon na kaya na ilan na ibuhos lahat. I mean, they're just tired coming into a game four. But they should be ready for at least five games lagi. Quarter final series ito. Of course, so sabi natin itong uh, panic ng Coca-Cola Tigers. Alibutan na siguro nila. Oh, Ito sila ang pinayang. Ito na yung pinayang. Ito na yung pinayang. Game 1. They put up a great fight. Also in Game 2. And uh, coming up with a victory in uh, Game 3. Ito na. Ito na yung turnover. But a good block coming from Tony De La Cruz. 
even the defense ito pa ng Alaska Aces. So actually, bro, you know, may go consider natin. Their main weapon here, they have been defending well, scoring leaders natin for it. Aces Miller, and Yasu Velasco in Hukanan. Balance attack for the Aces in terms of scoring. Kaya nga uh, itong si Mike Cortez. Eh, nandiyan lang sa bench at uh, parelax-relax muna. No need to, uh, to uh, send him back in the ballgame. Kaya nga ang ganda ng nilalaro ng mga teammates niya. Uh, ito si Tony De La Cruz only picking up on his points in this game dito sa ating uh, second half. So, yun na. Lahat na na naipasok ni Coach Jim Cohn. Ay nakascore na nga for the Alaska Aces. Five and twenty-two remaining. Mga kaibigan, yung ating pong uh, mga laro ko, sakasakaling dalawa pa yan, lalaro yun sa Inamis Center this coming Friday. Of course, dun sa ating naunang ball game, eh, nagwagi po yung uh, Red Bull. Abang sa barangay Hinebra Jim Kings to force a game five. Nako, siguradong gera ang mangyayari dyan sa Inares sa Biernes. Kaya ko sa inyo, maaga-aga pa lang, e pumila na kayo dyan. But si Mary, lalo na yung mga magagaling dito sa Metro Manila, paakyap doon, ano? Oo. Oh, no, no. Points in the paint. Sobrang one-sided. 40 to 12. Favor of the Aces. Oh, Reynel Hugnatan! Inagtag mo ba yan? Yung points in the paint coming from Reynel Hugnatan. On si Puntos na si Reynel Hugnatan. Pinihim na pa yan. Broken nose. Rob Wainwright takes the shot from the outside. Meet this. Hugnatan. To Jeffrey Carriasso. Pow and count it. Dale Sing Son. Matatawagan with the contact. And yun ang sinasabi nga natin, no, yung uh, extra passes coming from the Alaska Aces. Playing very well together. Uh, itong Coco Ola Tigers, whenever they don't score, they get frustrated. Medyo mababa, magbagal ang transition defense nila. And the Alaska Aces taking full advantage of it. May 12 puntos na si Jeff Licariaso looking for his 13th point. Pero the bonus free throw will come your way. Dahil tumawag po na ng timeout, ito si Coach Binky Pavis, 68-34, only a 30-second timeout at tinawag rito ng Coca-Cola Tigers. Ito na nga, kailangan na medyo kausapin ni Coach Binky Pavis. More than the execution nila, eh, lalo na, they have, he has to go into the minds of these players na, you know, keep on playing. There's the number of Will Miller, he's averaged 12.3, and tonight, Sabi niya, lalampasan ko pa yan. That's right. At uh, maganda nga yung ginagawa ni Willie Miller. Not only uh, has his outside shots been falling, pero maganda rin yung mga penetrations niya inside the lane, getting some layups in the first half. Four players on the floor para sa Alaska. Aces are all in double figures except for Tony De La Cruz. At ito, mayroon pang full court press dito ang Alaska. Aces coming off that free throw. At yan, may turnover pa. So you can see the focus here of the Aces. Coach Tim Cohn very wary at uh, keeping uh, his boys very alert and active on the floor. So, Sinuso na ni Dale Singson. Velasco, hand up to Tony De La Cruz. Deflected out, Banana TV Parinia with a 10 second shot clock for the Aces. 69 34. Velasco open for the three. And he overshoots, but look at Willie Miller. Wala na talun. Oh, talaga mo baksa ko sa kanya. Ball at that time, I want to post up Johnny Abarietos. Ah, pero Johnny Abarietos, master of swipe. Wala yung ball kay Miller. Sings on to Johnny. Abarientos rings the bell that time. Only the second basket to Johnny Abarientos. Of course, Johnny Abarientos, maraming pinakawala mga 
Sanitari ni to laban sa Alaska Aces and the way he wants to fight the Aces here in the quarterfinals. That's right. Pero sabi nga niya, at gusto lang niya mailabas rin yun at nailabas na nga niya yung uh, samaan ng loob niya. Uh, it's time to move on. Nilipat yung bola sa kaliwa. Red Bull ang bangga. Giba. Samantala. Wayne Wright to Johnny Abarientos. Oh, si Michael Pes pala is on the floor right now para sa Aces. Kapit ni Billy Mamaril, babalik para sa Coca-Cola Tigers. Another opportunity to score a basket here. Abarientos. Ayaw pa rin, tip in. Ayaw pa rin, tapingan sa bola for the rebound. At magkakaroon ng loose ball foul. Ang panic ng Alaska Aces, Jeffrey Carriasso. So he knows he's the culprit. That's right. That's the uh, Rafi Rivas still battling off the boards. He to get some offensive rebounds. 69-36 here. Coach Pinky Fabis. Of course, the Coca-Cola Tigers. They will be having the uh, number three pick. So draft this coming August. So the future looks bright here for the Coca-Cola Tigers. This uh, season has been an improvement. Uh, this conference has been an improvement for them as compared to the last conference that uh, they ended up last. Ngayon, umabot sila sa quarterfinals. And, uh, but their season is on the line here. With uh, three minutes and one second remaining the third and the whole of the fourth ahead of them. And of course, uh, a rookie head coach will see uh, Pinky Pavis here in the PBA. And uh, he admitted naman na marami siyang natututunan in the quarterfinals, especially ang uh, katagisan niya ng uh, galing dito eh, itong si Coach Tim Cohn. Yes, I respect for Coach Tim Cohn. Uh, look at this! Reynel Hugnatan, yes, this way na, I don't know, umakagat yung pectus ng bola, patatamahin lang niya sa board yan. Tignan ulit natin itong play na to. Ayan, una kay Nick Velasco, wala yung kanya tira, pero Rene Lugnatan, from right to left, getting a basket. Pero anyway, mga kaibigan, patuloy pa rin ang papapayagpag ng Alaska Aces, 71-38 as we go into this timeout. Nakakarami na rito sa Rene Lugnatan, already with 14 points in the game. From the outside, the MS. Yeah, Finally, something from the outside for the Coca-Cola Tigers. And an error on the part of the Alaska Aces. So, bola babalik agad dito sa panig ng Coca-Cola Tigers. Oh. Is this the moment they have been waiting for? Well, we have to see, but uh, they, they should take advantage of this. Uh, try to uh, get a run here uh, sa patapos ng uh, third period. Two minutes and 18 remaining. Masapion, they truly could use that basket for Rafa Rivas and for the rest of the Tigers. May foul na may tatawag laban kay Nick Velasco. Walking foul number three, Nick Velasco. That's the second and fourth team foul. Lamang ito yung foul ni Nick Velasco. Si Rafa Rivas ngayon, his first skip to the line in this ball game. Seventy-two, forty-two game, thirty-point lead here for the Alaska Aces. This is going to be a walk in the park here, victory, which the semi spot to go up against the Purefoods Chunky Giants for the Aces. That's a third quarter, palamang po tayo at ang mga kola Tigers. Let's see. Nangyayari maganda rito, three-on-one situation, and Johnny Abarientos will score. Perfectly run play there for the Coca-Cola Tigers. Textbook three-on-one fast break. Alim na punto, sparky the flying A. Rebound is Flory. Alasko pa rin, ano ang unang third quarter as they did in the first half. At tapos ang ball pa rin. Nick Velasco, another end-one opportunity. St. Nick. Malayo-layo pa. Pero parang gano'n napakaramdam dito ang Alaska Aces. Medyo at maganda ang nakikita nila sa scoreboard. So back in 2003, nang huling makapasok ng semis, ito panig ng Alaska Aces. Nagal-nagal din yung kanilang pag-iintay rito. 
Just some big over for the team. The end is John Furiols and uh, Johnny Abarenos. Hard foul given up here by Dale Singson. Well, the Coco the Tigers are turning the ball over too many times. At ito namang uh, last paces. Talaga namang uh, ta tra taking quick advantage of it. Kita mo yung transition offense sila. Kumagana ka agad. Uh, wala nang magawa doon si uh, Dale Singson. Kundi foulin itong si Raynel Hugnatan. He's back at the line, mga kaibigan. Reina Lugnatan, who's got 14 in the game. Good time to remember San Miguel Premium Gin, the gin that brings life to a celebration. It's just a small celebration for Alaska Aces if they go on to clinch the series here because ahead, a tougher task going up against a well rested Beaufort's Chunky Giants, best of seven naman yun in the semis. Ah! set ang ating quarterfinals which has turned out to be a best of five affair eh sinimulan nito in the previous conference tama yan ito yung barring any minor miracle ang mag comeback dito ang Coca-Cola Tigers itong Aces will have a few days rest dahil nga magpapanggaan pa ang Red Bull at ang Hinebra in game 5 sa Inaris po yan sa Biernes Just a minute and 12 remaining. Coach Dick Cohn. One free throw for Rafi Rivas. So we're going to clarify the Larito. Rafi Rivas is at the line. He missed. 76, 46, just over a minute remaining to the third quarter. A 30 point lead for the Alaska Aces. In a full quarter ahead, Coca Cola Tigers. It's going to be tough, but it's not impossible. That's right, but if they give up offensive rebounds like that, it would make things harder for them. John Ferrioles. In and out. Kuntik pa mula yung kay Rafi Rivas. Abarrientos sa po Morano. First time na gamitin siya in this ball game. Tony De La Cruz almost running out of space, saving the ball. At ang Alaska Aces ang naatake with 18 seconds. Dito sa ating third quarter shot clock. Shot clock rather is off. Tony De La Cruz, nope. With three seconds remaining, John Arrigo has it. Arrigo puts it up! Nothing from the outside for John Arrigo, although he's in double figures. Pero itong si Nick Velasco, mga kaibigan. St. Nick, according to Richard Del Rosario.